float for short sessions, ledger for long sessions. Oh, River of Still Water. Do you know, I really like them both, but I'd have to say my two favourite species live in the rivers, so river. <laughs> Chub and barbel. But I like tench as well, so they're still water. Well, one of the reasons why chub are my favourite species, a lot of barbel as well, but chub have generally been my longest term favourite species because I always used to really struggle to catch them when I was a kid. Like, even if I drew on a peg that was surrounded by chub, it was absolutely full of them, I'd always struggle. So, um, I, and I also think big chub are very, very shy. Generally, what's the old Dick Walker's saying? For every pound a chub weighs, it takes about an hour for it to come back in the swim if you muck it up. So, a seven pound chub pretty much wrecked it all day if you, if you muck it up. My bogey species is perch. I just, I've caught loads of big ones, loads of three pounders, but I've never had a four, and I just think because of that, yeah, probably, probably the perch. Olympic goat, oh. I, you, Olympic, or not so much Olympic, but any major championship gold medal in athletics would come higher than any fish on the planet for the simple reason that anyone with a bait in the right water whether they'd been fishing for a hundred years or, 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 or two days, they've got half a chance of catching that fish. Whereas there ain't no luck in Olympic medals or World Championship medals. That's just out and out hard work, graft and a bit of talent. And I ain't, I ain't just saying this, but I actually really enjoy nighting with the missus. Ooh, my favourite method. It used to be the method. Actually, my favourite method that brings me the most pleasure for ma the majority of the species is um, my little sort of running pattern oster, really. Um, just diving it down the edge, watching all the liners and stuff like that. I've used it on the Fishing Guru show a couple of times, um, especially at Rolls Lake. I think I, I think I finished off there. So that's a really funky, sort of slightly, you know, left field sort of method that I really enjoy using. Oh, my favourite filming moment, that would be Fishing Guru Series 4, the second show that we did on the River Wye, so the one after the one where I took Steve Bringer down there, where I, I was on a stretch of the River Wye where it just weren't fishing. There was like a couple of bailiffs down there the day before. It, it, they had like one bite between them. And I, I remember the rod going over, and I remember thinking, this need, you know, I, I mean, we was really trying to fill, fill time. And it wrapped me around stream of weed. I waded right out to my chest. I mean, I'm six foot five, so I waded right out to my chest to get this fish out. I thought I'd lost it for maybe four or five minutes, and then it came free, and then it just put up the most awesome battle. Um, and for a show where I really needed a time filler, 10 minute fight with a, bar with a barbel on camera was absolutely phenomenal. So that was probably my favorite, um, yeah, my favorite TV show fish, if you like. Oh, cringe-worthy filming moment. <laughs> well, if you see any of my outtakes, I've had quite a few. <laughs> um, I did lose a massive, when I filmed, uh, in 2005, when I filmed on course, um, I lost a big grayling on the River Frome when I was filming with Pete Redding. And we had to reshoot it because I threw my rod up a tree. <laughs> and I'm almost, I wanted to measure it because I think javelin-wise it'd have been a PV. <laughs> but it, um, I had the producer shout and keep the keep the camera in the water, keep the camera in the water. And the cameraman was on tripods in the water and it went through the, the actual sticks and, and done me. And I was, I was just screaming, get out of the water, get out of the water. I couldn't stop it. And it was almost certainly a three pound grading, which is a fish of a lifetime. But yeah, I've had a few blunders. Oh, oh, I'm a bit of a both man. Depends on the species and the venue. Um, I do love a rove. I do love moving around, especially on short sessions. But if I'm, if I'm, at, let's say I'm out in France or I'm, I'm at linear tench fishing or whatever, I'm, I'm happy to set my stall out for 72 hours, 48 hours, and not move. But short sessions, I do like to try and find them. <laughs> Most painful loss. I, I've lost a big chub as well. And I've caught a few big chub in my time, a um, few sevens, and I lost one that you know, gave me the 50p, 20p moment. So, um, but I think, yeah, the one that took the longest to get over, I think, was, was probably that three pound grayling that I lost on the throw. Oh, I tell you what, that's, that's good actually. I was, it was December about six years ago, and I was perch fishing down in Kent. And I remember I was dead bait fishing just into dusk, and the float dipped just as it had done on maggot and worm all day. And I lifted into it and I thought I'd hook the bottom and I gave it a bit of a bounce because I just thought, oh, Christ, you know, where'd that come from? 
and I had a 42 pound cat on a one pound test curve rod, six pound line. And that, and I actually, I was writing for the Times at the time. And, and I think a week or two before, I wrote a feature about these lucky catches. You know, I mean, you've got to be in the right place at the right time, don't get me wrong, and everyone has them, so brilliant. But I remember writing the feature along the lines of, I don't think I've ever had one. I don't think I've ever been that person that just like, whoa, where did that come from? And then a couple of weeks later, it happened. So it took like 40 minutes to get in, it was ridiculous. Patience, I don't have patience in anything I do. <laughs> oh, best angler that I've fished with. Oh, that's, oh I, I, I fish with a lot of very good anglers. Um, and I'd have to say the one that ticks the most boxes for big fish would be Terry Hearn. And this was, I, I filmed with him a couple of times, so it's not like on a personal level, but, but the one that I've learned the most off of, I would say would, quite possibly be Nigel Botherway because he's got a very relaxed, lovely way of fishing. You know, he's taught me to enjoy my specimen fishing and specimen fishing can quite often become a bit serious. And, and but there's others, you know, uh, lots and lots of people, but those two, you know, like Terry obviously for his results, but, but Nigel for his just demeanor on the bank, he, you know, he's, he's happy just to go and watch. So that's a lovely thing to have. Biggest angling regret? Probably not going on Adam's Mill when they were having it and it was day ticket <laughs> or, or, or club book. Um, I, I ain't really got many to be honest with you. I'm quite chilled and quite relaxed. It's, at the end of the day, it's only fishing. Um, my greatest angling achievement? On a fish front, I would say it would be either of my, I mean I had a seven pound one ounce chub on the float which was amazing and it braced with a brace of sixes, well it came with a brace of sixes and a brace of fives so that was the most memorable day but um, I've had a lot of red letter days that I will remember. Um, do you know I just I just have to say that I really enjoy, my, I never ever saw myself being in this position in angling and I, I'm, I'm, I feel very fortunate so I would have to say that that's probably my greatest achievement whether I've been in the right place at the right time or I've got a face that fits or, or or, or for any other reason, I, I'm just, I think I'm very thankful for where I am right now. If I could only target one species. Oh, just one. I can see myself, I mean, with the way the rivers are going, sadly, um, I can see myself doing more and more carp fishing in the future. Um, but if I was on the carp lake, I'd have a go for the tench, and, and when the river season's open, I'd go for the chub and the barbel. So <laughs> I wouldn't ever, but you know, I just think, I don't know, tough one. Possibly carp, I'd have to say, because they just tick a lot of boxes, don't they?